Hey guys, it's 2017, so we are going to do another video editing build. First things first, and where I normally start is with a case. <clears throat> what I always, always go for on these videos is the lowest price case with a power supply. I'm going to be using uh, eBuyer again um, as my favoured uh, retailer but they they don't pay me for uh, any of this so uh, I just like them <clears throat> if you believe that you'll believe anything but really they don't I wish I would that'd be nice <clears throat> what we've got is the CIT shade micro black interior 500 watt 120 millimeter black PSU USB 3 port PC case so it's uh, oh it's a lovely specimen one of the uh, the usual cheap cases that just kind of do what they're supposed to do. Uh, comes with a bag of screws and the side is pretty easy to take off. So we now have a case. So next thing we'll do, we will go for the motherboard. So this time, normally, I go for uh, an AMD processor because it's cheaper. But this time... We're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to go for an Intel motherboard. So again, I'm going to uh, I'm going to look for the the cheapest board that'll do exactly what we want it to do. So what you will find on uh, on eBuyer is you can get quite a few uh, motherboards where the there is a processor that's actually soldered on. Now you don't want to go for one of those because they will be terrible for video editing. So the uh, the motherboard I'm going to go for this time is the MSI Intel H110M Eco Micro ATX motherboard with USB 3. <sighs> Delicious. Do the memory before I do the processor. Uh, so uh, DDR4 is uh, the, uh, the motherboard that we've opted for, that I've opted for going to put a steady amount of RAM in this time. Last year's build we went 4 gig, but I think we're going to uh, we're going to up the ante a little bit. We're going to go for 8 gig. So we're going to get some uh, crucial 8 gigabytes DDR4 2133 UDIM desktop memory. Uh we're just going to get a stick one stick. So we've actually got two slots on the motherboard. Um but we're only going to fill one of those for now. The process we're going to go for is the Intel Pentium G4600 3.6 GHz Cable Lake processor. Now the reason we're going for a Cable Lake cheapo Pentium uh, without going for the i3 is because of the multi-threading that has now been enabled on the Cable Lake uh, processors. Absolutely fantastic. These processors are such good value for money. This one comes in at eighty pounds ninety nine pence. You you just you ain't gonna get as good value as that from a brand new processor. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna stick some uh, some storage in there. Now on my build last year, I did um, I did recommend getting dual um, dual SSDs uh, to output. But the, the bottleneck that, that was actually created on that, that system that I made wasn't too bad. So I'm actually I'm, I'm quite confident that to save a bit of money on this year's build, we will just get a um, a Toshiba P300 uh, one terabyte SATA hard drive, um, currently £38.78, which is, which is nothing. So the uh, the total cost of the system is two hundred and fifty nine pounds sixty five pence, which um, equates to approximately three hundred and forty dollars. Really good system for the price. You will get absolutely loads out of this in terms of video editing capability. Uh, you've got quick sync video on the um, on the Intel processor, which which really really speeds up the the rendering process. Um, Cheers, guys.